Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and welcome back to my Nard playthrough series. That was a solo called the Texas Ranger, and it's from page 42, and I'll be playing both solos from this page today for you. So this is a tricky solo in 6-8. It's got that phrasing, that bup, but up bup, but up bup. Those are always hard to play because you have to squeeze in these drags. So that double drag is a tricky rudiment to do and keep it right in time. It's also got a figure that's a double paradiddle and has a drag right after that, like this. Now that's one of the only times when I actually use my arm when I play, because you have to get that in there really quickly, and it also has to be clear. So I'm kind of almost tightening up there so that comes out. Sometimes you just have to do that. So you use all the tools at your disposal, uh, whatever you need to do to make it come out. But that's not normally the way that I play, as all of you know. But there it works. Uh, so this solo works well at several tempos. There I was doing it at dotted quarter equals 96, which is probably about the fastest you want to play it where it still sounds musical. You can also do it slower, uh, and I'll do that for you now at 84. We'll put on the triplet subdivision so you can hear how everything locks in. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. When you have flams in a row like that, I would suggest using mostly wrist uh, so you don't get flat flams, so they're consistent. Uh, that's something that will help you make these consistent, these types of flams that go on. And I think there's uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flams in a row. It's hard to get all those perfect. The next thing on the page is called the Irish Piper. And we'll do this one at dotted quarter equals 116. One, two, one, two. really like this one a lot. It's very, very musical. So you see how I'm going right to the edge for the piano and the pianissimo sections there. And that's all wrist when you're there. Don't let the stick bounce. You need control there. So that's what you want to do. Lots of tricky accents on this page too. Now in the, um, in the second stanza where we have the first part of the second theme here. I'm going hand to hand with these rolls. So that's almost orchestral playing there, uh, the sensitivity you need to have. Okay, but the hand to hand thing works well there. 
And then beware of the last line of this piece. It's got some real deceptive accents, especially in the first ending. And then you accent that roll right there going back to the repeat. So we'll play this one slower for you at 96 with the triplet subdivision. One, two, one, two. playing those last three bars a little quieter. Uh, it's not written, but it just feels right. So that's a great exercise to do. This solo uh, would be good, again, for orchestral type playing. So I hope you enjoyed this page 42, and we'll be back soon with page 43.